All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, we're actually continuing on with G.I. Joe Retro. Uh, I just uh, really like them, and they're already out, and I just got this building out, so I figured it'd be kind of fun to, to uh, you know, get them, get them out since I already got them out and get them in front of a few more pictures. And uh, this, this house is pretty neat, uh, so it's always kind of fun to, you know, do another shot of these. Uh, but, yeah, we basically got a uh, roadblock, uh, Lady J and then Grunt. Honestly, uh, you know, when I keep looking back at uh, the figures for, um, you know, for for the retro, I didn't really get a whole lot of color in there. It's uh, everybody's green except for Snake Eyes, who's you know dominantly black. But uh, you know, I always try to mix up the colors of characters just because it sticks out so much better. But uh, when you really think about it, between Stalker and Roadblock and Lady J and Duke and and Grunt uh, and and Crankcase, even uh, they're all they all got a lot of green. Uh, you know, it's weird to say I color coordinate uh, some of my pictures, but it always does look much better uh, than you know, uh, just having a bunch of characters in the same colors, but that's just fine. Uh, they, I, these, these characters, I, these figures, I really dig. They're just, they're awesome figures. Really wish I made more. Uh, and like I said in the past video that, uh, I definitely need to, uh, get, you know, the 25th anniversary issues or, uh, figures, uh, just because, um, you know, they, they had a lot, they made a lot more of those. Unfortunately, this line died right away. But yeah, anyways, uh, just kind of peppering the background with, you know, dead Cobra Troopers. And then you can barely see in the back we got, uh, you know, um, Stalker with a gun to the back of a you know, Cobra Trooper's uh, head. You know, he's got him captured uh, already and, and uh, these guys are just raiding the building. So, uh, yeah, tons of fun. Let's go on to another picture. All right, so our next shot, uh, we basically have Grunt coming to the rescue Pulling a roadblock out of there. I kind of had it set up as if they were behind, you know, those sandbags. Uh, and, and the Hiss tanks showed up on there running over it or whatever. But I don't know if that really translates very <laughs> very well. But it still turned out to be pretty cool. I mean, the big thing is uh, Grunt is dragging a roadblock. And then Lady J's uh, giving them some fire protection, uh, you know, cover fire as they run away. Uh, but, yeah, just kind of Cobra... Um, you know, coming up on him quick. You know, one of the funny things is that his tank on the right, you can see the pilots looking out the right side of his window. Um, I don't know why it was like that. It's been such a long time since I took these guys out. But I thought it just kind of looked uh, kind of funny that, you know, maybe uh, maybe more Joes are coming up on the defensive and, and uh, you know, uh, coming at him or whatever. So I, I just left it the way it was instead of... It took me about two seconds to change it, but I thought it looked kind of funny, so... Why not keep it the way it is? Um, but yeah, just peppering in some, you know, uh, blast effect concrete. I think those those came from Luke's Toy Store, but I think those are pretty much for tabletop RPG, RPG games, role-playing games, RPG. And then the sandbags are uh, another click-and-play accessory, uh, you know, just to add something to the, the picture. And then, of course, my roll-up grass that you guys have seen a million times, so... Ah, uh, yeah, and then just kind of like after setting them up, there were those blank spots on each side of uh, Grunt, and I ended up putting some Cobra Troopers on each side just to, you know, fill in those dead spaces and give it uh, give it more of a chase feel, not just some tanks, his tanks, but also some uh, Cobra Troopers chasing them down. So, turned out really good, very happy with it. Um, yeah, let's go on to one more picture. All right, guys, so our final shot is a really cool one with Stalker and Snake Eyes. Uh, and implementing the havoc in there, uh, and then of course using the the uh, laser pointer. Let's see if I can get it. Uh, where are you? Yeah, getting a laser pointer on that effect to give it a blasting uh, look, give it a lit up look. Uh, yeah, this just turned out really good. It turned out uh, very nice. Of course, I'll put on the Dutch twist, uh, to, so there's no dead space above their heads. Uh, it just it it turned out really good. I'm, I'm really pleased with this one. Uh, anytime you get Stalker out there, <laughs> it's a good shot. So, uh, yeah, and again, we have the click and play uh, sandbags that uh, 50 caliper. I don't know if that's what it is, but it looks like one to me. Uh, that's also click and play. Uh, and then, of course, it's the classic uh, Havoc 
you know, vehicle or whatever. So anyways, guys, glad to, I'm glad to get, uh, you know, GI Joe back in the mix, get these retro figures out. Uh, they look really cool. They are, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. I think I'm going to end up going either back to mini mates or else I'm going to do some, uh, masters of the universe next. So we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, hit the like and subscribe button. Check out the description of my video for my Facebook and Instagram page, and we'll see you at the next video. Bye now.